fire was being shot all over. Now at six, justice, more than five years in the making. We have an officer down at this time. Why is that suspect still firing? Use precaution. A PD gunman learns his sentence half a decade after a deadly ambush. Still an active crime scene. WMBF News was at the scene then, and we're in the courtroom and community now. WMBF News at 6 starts right now. WMBF starts with breaking news. We continue to follow breaking news tonight in the PD, where we now know the man who shot and killed two law enforcement officers will die in prison. Our all day live team coverage continues now in Florence, where our Ashley Bowles is breaking down this case and also telling us what a judge decided this afternoon. Ashley. Eric Rachel, a judge slapped 79 year old Fred Hopkins with two consecutive life sentences exactly one week after he pleaded guilty to two law enforcers murders. Evidence showed Hopkins killed Florence County Deputy Ference Turner and officer Terrence Caraway back in 2018 when they tried to serve a child sex abuse warrant against his son. Caraway died immediately. Turner fought for her life for 19 days. Seven other law enforcement officers were also hurt with five of those injuries life threatening. Judge Eugene Griffith listened intently to each person who spoke today and included solicitor Ed Clements, who spoke briefly at the end about the toll this case has had on his office and the entire Florence community. He begged the judge for the maximum sentence of back to back sentences plus 150 years and the judge answered. My hope that the conclusion of this case and the sentencing will bring closure to the families of the victims and the victims themselves and to the Florence community as a whole, the PD. It's a big family down here and y'all deserve closure. The family spirit was definitely alive today with both the Caraway and Turner families supporting one another and the other victims present. Live in Florence tonight, Ashley Bowles, WMBF News. All right, thank you, Ashley. Well, the families of those slain officers weren't just in the courtroom today to watch, but to also give their loved ones killer a piece of their mind. Our live team coverage continues with our Samuel Shelton, who explains exactly what they had to say. Samuel. Well, you know, many tears were shed inside this courtroom as this tragedy has now impacted the lives of seven families. And out of all those who spoke, they all say they were begged for justice. Now, inside the courtroom, emotions were filled as loved ones shared how October 3rd of 2018 changed their lives forever. The families of Sergeant Terrence Caraway and investigator Fred Turner say today felt like a funeral all over again for their loved ones. Several officers' relatives claim Fred Hopkins has shown no remorse or mercy over the past five years and even today, having ripped families and the entire law enforcement community apart. Your Honor, what was taken that day was a community hero, a father, a brother, and my best friend. Relatives are now left to mourn both Caraway and Turner, not just as great officers, but, uh, but outstanding community leaders and close friends. I'm live here in Florence. Samuel Shelton, WNBF News. Not everyone grieving the slain law enforcers today was in the courtroom. Our live team coverage continues now with Ashley Listrom at the Florence Police Department sharing just how big of an impact today's sentencing had on fellow officers. Ashley. Yeah. Eric, today was emotional for many, and even though they're trying to move on, Florence Police Chief Heidler says he keeps a photo of Sergeant Caraway in his office, reminding him of the sacrifice officers make every day. Chief Heidler reflected on the ambush, saying it was a chaotic scene filled with heroism. He says departments across the state came together to help his agency find closure. And even though Hopkins' trial is in the rearview mirror, Chief Heidler says he will always remember the sacrifice his officers made. This segment is over with right now, so um, hopefully we can be, get back to a little bit more normalcy and not have this judicial, this judicial process hanging over our head as it has been for the last five years. 
Chief Heidler says they will continue to keep the officers' legacies alive. Tomorrow night, they're hosting a gala in their honor. Live in Florence, Ashley Listrom, WMBF News. And while the judge did make that sentencing today, you know what? It is not over yet. Hopkins isn't just on the hook in criminal court, but also civil court. Both Farrah Turner and Terrence Calloway's families have filed wrongful death lawsuits against the 79 year old seeking damages for their loved ones deaths. Records show Hopkins is set to appear in court Monday where he'll have to answer for all five of the suits against him. Meanwhile, Hopkins victims will continue to live on through a series of programs and honors. The Farrah Turner Foundation helps protect children from abuse and sexual assault. While the Terrence Caraway Memorial Scholarship helps two Florence and Darlington County students pay for college each year. The State Law Enforcement Hall of Fame has also posthumously inducted both officers, aiming to preserve their legacies for future generations. Well, if you'd like to learn more about those officers or the case against Hopkins in general, you can find an entire blog chronicling today's sentencing moment by moment under the news tab on our website. You can also stay in the loop 24 seven as Hopkins returns to civil court again. That's Monday. You can do that by downloading the WMBF news app.